If you are looking for an all-inclusive tutorial on how to live stream on YouTube today in 2020, you've just clicked the right video. Because in the next 10 minutes, I'll be showing you exactly how to do it step by step. So make sure to watch this video carefully to the very end and let's get started. Hi, my name is Roman, this is Mobavi Vlog, your go-to channel for making greater videos. And today you're gonna learn how to stream on YouTube. Well, let's not waste a second and jump right into it. The first thing you need to do is to log into your YouTube channel that you want to stream from. Note that the regulations and the requirements to be able to stream on YouTube are constantly changing, so make sure that you have streaming enabled on your channel first. Now, you're gonna need two different things in order to stream. All of them are free, a YouTube channel, and then uh, secondly, you're going to need some form of streaming software. It doesn't matter which software you use exactly, you can use Slavs, which you can see me using right now, Streamlabs OBS, that one is free. You can use OBS, which is also free. You can use whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you feel at ease using when you're streaming. Okay, so we have a YouTube channel, we have our streaming software, let's go ahead and dive back over to YouTube and see what we need to do now. Let me know that if you're in the old Creator Studio Classic, which you may be, things are a little different, because in my example, I'm using the new Creator Studio 2020, so make sure your YouTube studio looks just like mine does here. Now, once you're ready to stream, let's go ahead and start the streaming process. Up in the upper right-hand corner, you're gonna see Create, I guess very familiar to you. And right below the usual upload video, click Go Live. Once you're here, you may see this, to start streaming, allow access to your microphone. Don't do that, don't worry about it, that will be going directly through YouTube and we definitely don't want to do that. So up here, you're gonna see three different tabs, Webcam, Stream and Manage. Go to Stream because this is going to be the one that we want to set everything up with. Now there are two different types of streams on YouTube. There's a Stream Now or a Go Live Now, and then there's a Stream or a Schedule for Later, which they call a YouTube event or a live event. To discern between the two, click right here where it says schedule for later. If you have that checked there, you will schedule it for the exact time later. I'm gonna set mine up to go live now just for the purposes of this tutorial. Up on the top is gonna look very familiar to an actual uploaded video. You will tile your stream here. Then you want it to be public if you want everyone to see it. But you could also have a private or unlisted stream if you just want to send people the links and only those people will be able to view the stream. Down here below you're gonna see your uploaded defaults for your videos or streams. You can edit and change your description here. Then change the actual category of the stream like you normally would. Make sure you let YouTube know if it's going to be directed towards kids or not, so hit yes or no for that. And then go to create stream, the big blue button at the very bottom. This is where all the magic happens. So before I go on and show you what to do next to go live on YouTube, let me have a short break and ask you to like this video and subscribe to the Movavi Vlog channel. Also, I have exciting news from Movavi coming up right now. now the shot comes in brilliantly. Oh, so, sorry, that's you. So, I've been thinking lately, if you're interested in streaming, you may be probably interested in gaming as well. And many streamers use their YouTube channels as a platform to upload their streaming highlights too. And eye-catching video effects is what may help you grab viewers' attention. So if you are the one who are looking for a way to polish and live up your gaming videos, I have a hot deal for you. The brand new Movavi Video Editor Plus 2021. Gikata, the game recorder by Movavi, and the future is now effect set, all of that is available with 15% off. A couple of intuitive programs and the effects 
that are super easy to apply might help you make decent gaming content without spending too much time recording and editing. If you like the offer, just hit the link below to proceed to the page with the deal. Going back to business. Basically, you're going to need a stream key. The stream key is going to connect your live stream software, Slavs, OBS, Ecamm, whatever software you're using to YouTube. It's going to let YouTube know what channel to stream on and it's going to connect the two different entities. You will also need a stream URL. No streaming software provides that for you, but just in case you need it, you can copy that as well. But the first thing you have to do is copy your stream key. Go ahead and click that copy button here within YouTube to copy the key to your clipboard or on PC or Mac and then navigate back over to Streamlabs, OBS, whatever you're using. Then go to settings and then once in settings, go to stream, which is this option here. And then underneath streaming services here, you have a variety of services like Twitch, YouTube, Mixer and so on. Obviously, you want to select YouTube in this case. Now the primary YouTube ingest server that YouTube is trying to provide you earlier. Leave this the same here. And then go ahead and hit Ctrl or Command V to paste your stream key. Once that is done, go ahead and click done there. Hop back over to YouTube just to make sure everything is the way you need it to be and click done on this box here. Now this is where you're gonna manage your stream. This is the back end of your stream on YouTube. But before you hit go live and test your stream, there's a couple of things that you need to know. Go ahead and click the low latency option here. Again, it depends on your current internet signal. So to make sure your stream is the highest quality possible, go back over to your streaming software, go to settings and make sure that when you're on the stream here, you have a couple of different things under output that your video bitrate, start that at 3500. If you notice some lag within your stream, lower that number. So the video bitrate is going to be the bitrate for your stream. The lower this number, the weaker your internet signal. I like to keep mine at 3500, that is a sweet spot. But if you see some lag, lower that number. But if it's buttery smooth, you can even raise that number. Audio bitrate. Simply keep it anywhere between 250 or 300. I keep mine at 288. Then make sure you have your microphone connected because audio is actually crucial just as it is within an uploaded video to YouTube. Once all of this is set up within your streaming software, go back over to YouTube after hitting go live on your streaming software. This doesn't mean you're live on YouTube at the moment. There's one more step. When you hit the go live button in streaming software of yours, that is only sending a preview to YouTube or whatever you're streaming to. There's a preview box here in the upper left corner letting me see and listen to what I look like and what I sound like. In order to actually go live on YouTube, you must hit the go live button on the YouTube backend like right here. So once you're back in the YouTube studio, check if everything looks good, everything sounds fine, you have all the right settings and then you can go ahead and hit go live. Do not miss the stream status indicator in the stream health tab. Ideally, it must be excellent. You want this to be in the green. You don't want to see yellow or red. So I recommend you check the stream health and make sure you're good to go before you hit go live. If you ever need to edit the settings of the stream, you can click the edit button in the upper right hand corner. This will allow you to change the thumbnail, enable monetization and change all of the stuff that I showed you earlier. So go ahead and close that if you don't want to edit anything now. All right, now you're ready to go. So go ahead and hit the blue go live button and you will now be going live on the channel you have selected. Over here on the right hand side, you can see the chat and here you would be able to see the number of current viewers and how many likes that stream has. If you click on the three dots button here over the chat box and hit pop out chat, you'll then be able to pop that chat out and see if people are chatting within your stream and respond to them. 
right from here. You could also hit that three dots and look for participants who were in the chat with you. All of this could be done within YouTube. If you want to dive even deeper than that, you can also monitor and see the chat within specific streaming software like Slops or OBS, which I highly recommend doing. That would be my advice to you. When you're ready to end the stream, make sure that you hit the end stream button within YouTube first and then hit end here. It will say stream is finished and it will let you know how many people watched your stream. Now, where do streams end up once completed? If you go to your YouTube studio and under videos here, go to see uploads, you can notice another tab called live. Click this tab and here you will find your finished streams. You are able to go back, watch the streams again, keep them on your channel so your viewers can watch the streams later or you can delete the live sessions forever. Normally what I do is uh, actually change them from public to unlisted. That way only the people with the links can actually watch them. And at the same time, I can go back and rewatch all my streams anytime. All right, guys, that is how you go live on YouTube. I hope my short tutorial will help you out. Don't be shy asking questions in the comments down below, liking this video and subscribing to the Mobavi Vlog channel. My name is Raven. I'll see you very soon.